Hey guys, um, just a heads up, this episode that I'm currently editing, I am completely out of audio. The Rode Mic Micro, this is my third Rode Mic, has uh, completely bitten the dust, I guess. And I didn't really notice while I was recording, so the next few episodes are going to have to be narrated um, like this. This, uh, I'm just, I, I just, I need to make, I need to stop buying Rode Mics. They always look great and they are well reviewed, but they never last more than like two months. Absolute garbage. So with that said, enjoy the episode. Good morning everyone. Last night we got a little bit of rain through one of uh, Vern's old soggy patches on the deck, so I think it's about time to clear it out and put in some new wood in the core there. Well, on account of I've thrown my pry bar overboard and Olay needs more metal cutting blades and we're missing a few other things, we're gonna make a little run into town and introduce you to uh, Champ's fan group here in town. There's uh, quite a few of them. the number one champ fan of all time, Vern. Champ's a big Vern fan too though. Lynn's not here, Champ. She's not here. It's okay. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Oh you want to go out? Well, we made it back out to the boat and now Lyndon's here to help us out. I'm continuing to work on the patch, gotta clear up all of that old rotten deck and lay in some new stuff. Ole is down below working on the old engine still. We're all here working together to clear out all the hydraulics. And Lyndon's helping us with the uh, outboard. After a good day's work, the whole crew's assembling on Campfire Island for delicious fire cooked steaks.
afterwards we're all competing for who can make the best marshmallow. My hat's off to you, Lyndon. It's amazing. Oh no, I can't think of a better way to spend my nights. Another beautiful morning, another series of tasks to do, and another day without a working microphone. With the warming weather and Olay spoiling Champ Rotten, this has become a bit of a common occurrence. I'll row to shore to drop off some garbage in the truck or something like that, and Champ will jump in and swim after me the whole way. Then I have to bring him back on board soaking wet. After doing a little bit of work this morning, we decided the winds were good, and we would go over and take up the Cal 20. Lyndon and Tiff didn't think we were going fast enough, so they're pushing us with their outboard. Back aboard the little Cal 20, I'm severely impressed by how easy this thing is to sail. It's the perfect learner boat. And now with Lyndon and Tiffany taking turns on the tiller, Alay can sit back and relax and I can work the sails and actually learn something. After getting out into the channel in incredibly light winds, it took us a while to get back to port. So when we did, we decided we'd have curry over with the Waldies place. I wanted to see if it was actually really true. And? So when I went to uh, uh, San Pancreas, that's the terminal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we had an awesome time catching up with uh, Lyndon and Tiffany on their visit here to uh, Dagnan Bay. It's been amazing, capping it off with an amazing dinner with them and uh, some card games and hanging out. Really, really good. If you haven't already, this is just a little reminder to check out the Waldies sailing channel. They're heading around Vancouver Island and I'm so excited to see their adventures. You should check them out and give them a subscribe. Tell them I sent you.